if we go back to my second grade, uh, when we used to go back and forth from Mexico uh, to the U.S. and to the U.S. to Mexico, I remember my second grade teacher, when we were going back to, uh, to Mexico one, one year, uh, I'm the youngest of four, so she had my three other siblings in her class before, and I asked her for our three months worth of homework, and she rolled up her eyes and she said, you know what, uh, tell your parents I'm going to come home. And so, she, that, and so that evening she did come to our house and she basically told my parents that, uh, that we should stay in one place uh, because she had all four of the kids and she thought they were all smart and liked school and if we were going to get a chance to become, uh, to become uh, something in life, we needed to stay in one place, and that's what she, uh, that's what she uh, said to them. And again, the credit to my parents, you know, they, they went ahead and, uh, and, 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 and uh, took that advice. And, you know, it wasn't easy because spending, uh, 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 spending winter in places where there was no field work, it was hard for us. So, so, uh, so uh, but, we, you know, somehow we managed, and, uh, and we graduated high school. We went to, to college went to the university and then um, and then I started working at Lawrence Livermore Lab. Worked 12 years there at a, a national defense lab, a very pre prestigious uh, lab where I worked in jobs related to space, development of the space-based uh, x-ray uh, laser. Worked in um, the medical industry, uh, developing the first full field digital mammography for earlier detection of breast cancer. And then I worked with the Russians in the nuclear nonproliferation arena and helped them, helped uh, basically uh, verify agreements between the U.S. and Russia that the Russians were reducing the, uh, the amount of nuclear weapons as, a, as agreed upon in signed agreements. All that allowed me to, uh, to start applying for the uh, astronaut program. And it wasn't easy. I mean, it took 12 years, 12 attempts before I was finally uh, selected. So there's another lesson there in perseverance because uh, uh, you just can't give up. I, I tell the kids, you know, imagine if I would have given up the first, second, or third time they, to they told me no and, and I just moved on to something else. Uh, you know, you just can't do that. If you have a dream and you're willing to improve yourself year after year, you should keep following it because you know what? Every year that you do that, every year you improve yourself, you get that much closer to your dream and uh, eventually it'll come true.